Hello everyone! I'm here today with another episode of Buttercup's Baking Bits. I think this one will be extra fun as we will be making a delicious and incredibly simple cream cheese icing. With just a few ingredients, you can create a wonderful icing that can be paired with many different baked goods. So, let's get started! We will begin with six tablespoons of unsalted butter softened to room temperature. Oops, that's the wrong end. To this, we will add four ounces of cream cheese. Yummy. Make sure that this is also softened. Now we will whip this together until it becomes quite creamy and light. Once this is all mixed up, we will add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. If you want to add in any other flavorings, this is a good time to do so. A little almond extract would be quite nice. We're going to mix this together until combined. Next, we are going to add the powdered sugar. And here is a tip about that. Of course, powdered sugar is what is going to give your icing the lovely sweetness, but it is also what gives you the desired consistency. If you want a thinner icing, use less powdered sugar. And if you want a thick icing, use more. Feel free to play around with the amount until you reach the thickness and sweetness that you prefer. I'm gonna be adding in two cups of powdered sugar. This will give a nice thick icing, but still soft enough to pipe. Do you remember when I taught you how to measure flour? You can use that same technique to measure out powdered sugar as well. It is also important that you sift your powdered sugar before adding it to your mixture to make sure any lumps are broken up. Add in your powdered sugar a little bit at a time, mixing well in between each addition. It's time to make a mess. going everywhere. You know what they always say, a good cook is a messy cook. Once your sugar has all been added, continue mixing at a high speed for a few minutes until your icing is beautifully fluffy and smooth. Now, wasn't that so easy? This delicious icing is incredibly sweet, but with a wonderful tartness from the cream cheese. Perfect for lighting up many recipes. I quite like them on cookies myself. In fact, I just might be working on a recipe later this month that will make good use of this icing, so be sure to stay tuned. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe for more delightful baking adventures. And if you love seeing these videos, consider supporting me on Patreon. My wonderful patrons help me continue producing fun baking videos for all to see. Plus, you'll get exclusive access to sneak peeks, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. I'll share the link in the description below. Until next time, 